Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 537. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, and then click on my College Website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 537 to 538. Hey, we want to talk about drilling through a worksheet. And what that means is, if I put something in this cell like 3, Enter, I want it to go into this sheet and this sheet also. So here's how you do this. And this is convenient for a couple reasons. Sometimes you want to build a template, although you could build the template and just copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste. If you had a bunch of sheets, though, like 12 months, uh, you could highlight all the sheets and then do this drilling through. Another thing is you can edit templates. And then in uh, the next video, we'll uh, see a complex array formula that might be uh, a hassle to, you know, copy and paste into multiple sheets and so we'll see a uh, great use of drilling through. Here's the deal, you have to highlight all the sheets first and the way uh, to highlight sheets is um, I'm clicking on this sheet, well let's just do it in the cells, click here, hold shift, when you click somewhere else when you're holding shift it highlights everything in between, same with the sheets. If you only wanted this sheet, this sheet and this sheet uh, to do drill through, then instead of shift, you use the control key. Whoops, I did uh, shift. Sh uh, hold, click, and then hold control, and that allows you to highlight things not next to each other. So here we go. Click on this sheet, hold shift, click there. Now, uh, in this version, 2010, it's obvious that these are highlighted. In uh, 2007, it's not so obvious, and uh, sometimes you get into trouble. Now. The uh, warning here is once you are drilling through, whenever you're done, you have to make sure and unselect these. And I'll show you how to do that because you can destroy spreadsheets. And I have destroyed a number of spreadsheets over the years. So I'm going to type uh, product one, copy it down, um, January. I'm just doing a simple little example here. Next uh, video, we'll do a really cool array formula example. I'm going to control asterisk to highlight the whole table. And I'm going to go. Uh, let's do some formatting here, like all borders. I'll use the control trick. And by the way, if you click on any of these sheets, you can see that it's in the process, right? It's in the process. Just don't click out here, because that, that's one way to deselect them. Now I'm going to add some color. Sometimes when I'm doing this, I make sure I actually do do this, especially in earlier versions, to make sure that I have all the sheets selected. All right, um, and then we have um, our dummy data, one control enter and now I'm going to highlight one row to the right and below and then alt equals I did control equals alt equals is my keyboard shortcut for auto sum now I'm going to control asterisk to highlight the whole table maybe copy this over here and type a uh, total copy this down and type total um, and maybe I'm going to go like this one last little thing. So there I have my template. Boom. Now I um, come over here. I can see it did it to each sheet. Uh, you can either click here to deselect them. I always sometimes get paranoid, except especially with 2007. Right click, ungroup. Right, and that'll do it. So that's drilling through. Uh, great for. Um, creating a template instead of copying and pasting. The other thing perhaps that I use it for often is to edit. So then I come here and I'm like, I don't want that to be January, I want that to be June. So I am have them highlighted, I copy this over and now I've just edited each one of those. Right click, ungroup. And you can do the same thing for formulas. You know, if I have a payroll, sometimes I forgot to do a round and then I put the round into all of them. All right, drilling through, really important, but don't forget to unselect by right-clicking ungroup before going on to a different task. All right, we'll see you next video.